Hi, this is Kian once again. Welcome to pray, uh, Prayer Line. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Precious one, we are still talking about the kingdom of God being manifested in our lives. And it's my prayer that this year, wherever you may be, wherever you may go, the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ will be manifested at all times in your life. And the kingdom was inherited when you and I accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. That's why Jesus Christ told the Pharisees that the kingdom of God is not by observation of he's here or he's there. The kingdom of God is in us. The kingdom of God is God tabernacling or living in us. We have Jesus, the Holy Spirit, now in us. And that's why the Bible says that when you pray, we should pray that let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Meaning we can in experience the kingdom of God in our lives. You don't have to wait to die to, or to be raptured before you go to heaven to enjoy the kingdom of God. You can be enjoying every single day of your life, 24, um, 24 hours a day, you know, the kingdom of God in your life, wherever you may be. But you have to tap into it. You have to know it and you have to begin to manifest it. So we started by talking about um, Romans chapter 14 verse 17. It says that the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness. And we have talked about righteousness, right standing with God. Peace, we have talked about the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, which brings clarity and removes confusion, takes away depression, takes away worry, anxiety and fear, and all those things that causes people to be oppressed by you know, negative forces. And the last one today I want to talk about is the kingdom of God that brings joy in the Holy Ghost. The joy, the joy, the joy of God, the joy. Today I want to talk about the joy, the kingdom of God, of joy manifesting in your life. So the kingdom of God is not about eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The joy of the Lord is our strength. That's what the Bible says, that rejoice, I say, rejoice. <laughs> Re rejoice, I say, rejoice. That's what David says, that cast me not away from thy presence, but restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Because salvation is in we inheriting the kingdom of God and it brings joy. Many people, many Christians are not experiencing this kingdom in their lives. The kingdom of joy. Joy. The joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Joy that overflows. Joy, joy. Joy which is beyond understanding. Joy unsearchable. Joy. Beloved, I want you to know that there is a difference between righteousness, peace, and joy. They are all the kingdom manifesting. But if you don't take care, you'll be enjoying one and you'll be denied the other. You may be a Christian. You are living a righteous life. You are very righteous. Fine. You are holy. God approves of you. God loves you. That is the kingdom manifesting in your life. And you may also be enjoying peace, taking away confusion, taking out, bringing clarity, bringing stillness, quietness, and harmony in your life. And there is the next level, which is joy. You can be righteous, and yet still you don't have joy. Always, you are just straightforward. You know, people don't see joy overflowing in your life. You may be even at peace with your life, whereby there is no confusion, where there is, no, you, you are, there is clarity in your life, but you are not overflowing with joy. So joy is also different. Joy is the state whereby something Pleasant is always bubbling inside you and you can't keep quiet. And because of that, every day there is laughter. Every day you are smiling. Every day people are seeing your face radiating because you are excited. We have people who are righteous and yes, so every day they have a sad face. Yeah, we have people who have peace of mind and yet still you will never see them smiling or jovial or elated or glad or you know, manifesting joy. 
meaning that they are not experiencing the kingdom of joy in their lives. There is this story about this rich, rich man. He had a very big mansion, very, very big mansion, and he had this just a servant and this servant all his work was to you know, help the rich man uh, polish his shoes and um, clean his car and open his doors and you know, just serve him and the rich man even though he was so rich every single day as he goes in and out you come back home frustrated sad in misery you no know, blaming everybody angry at all times and he will always see this poor wretched servant of his always whistling very happy every single day very elated very excited very very happy very joyous every single day and this rich man was envious of this um, the servant this young boy who was serving him and he wondered that how come that i have all the money i have all the influence and affluence and i have all the fame and i have all the money and yes, sir, I am miserable. And yes, sir, I am depressed. And yes, sir, I'm not happy. And yes, sir, I am always constantly filled with sadness and us always um, uh, angry with people. How come that this guy who has nothing, the, end, the only things he has is the things I give him. Yes, sir, he's always whistling and he's always happy and his face is always radiating with joy. Every time he comes around me, he's bringing peace around me. What is the secret of this young boy? This rich man was so frustrated about this young boy always whistling and always happy, even though he had nothing. And so one day, he called this young guy and he says, that, What is your secret? What at all is causing you to be happy every day? And the young boy told him that it is because of Jesus. It is because of Jesus. I have joy down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus gave it to me and no one else can destroy it or no one can take it. So even though I have little, but the joy of the Lord is my strength. I am always rejoicing because the Holy Ghost in me is always causing me to be happy, always causing me to be excited, always causing me to be smiling, always causing me to be just appreciative of life because the joy of the Lord is always my strength joy joy unspeakable full of glory 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 because of the joy of the lord and a lot of christians are denied this blessed joy of the kingdom of god how many christians are frustrated how many christians are living in misery how many christians are sorrowful how many christians are grieving how many christians are sad how many christians are having melancholy how many Christians are so sad and their life is, is devoid of joy unspeakable. Whenever they come to people, they rather depress other people. When they come, when somebody lacks the kingdom of joy, when they come close to you, they are always complaining, they are always murmuring, they are always pointing fingers at people, they are always um, accusing people, finding fault with people. They are always, when, when people do not, they lack the kingdom of joy, you don't want to come too close to such people. Because by the time they leave you, they depress you. By the time they leave you, they make you sad. They are always telling people stories of war. Do you know this happened to me? Do you know things are not going well? Do you know? Are, but when the joy of the Lord is your strength, Oh, when the joy of the Lord is your strength, it doesn't matter whether you have, it doesn't matter whether you have, you don't have, it doesn't matter wh whether things, the whole world is tearing apart, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Bible makes us to understand that, you know what, when the presence of God left um, Saul, Saul was so frustrated because another spirit came upon, upon um, 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 Saul. You know, that, that's what we are today. We are talking about the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. You know, when the presence of God was with Saul, he was experiencing the kingdom of God. But when the presence of God left Saul, the kingdom of Satan began to manifest in Saul's life. And so what happened? Saul was constantly being tormented. Saul was always sad. Saul was, he couldn't even sleep. So the Bible says that Saul couldn't sleep. So he said that, can, we, can you get somebody to give me a solution to this misery, this frustration, this sadness, this anger, this rage, this sleepless night, this frustration that I'm going through? 
he was experiencing the kingdom of Satan and somebody recommended David unto him that there is a man the hand of the Lord is upon him the kingdom of God the kingdom of joy is with him because the kingdom of righteousness is also with him the kingdom of peace is also with him and the kingdom of joy is with him when he comes into your house he can bring and he can transfer the joy of the Lord into your life so the Bible says that Samuel um, saw um, Saul uh, they brought David into Saul's house and he began to pray, play his harp in um, Saul's um, life. And then the Bible says that whenever he played his instrument skillfully, the, 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 the tormented spirit left Saul and Saul could sleep because David was carrying the kingdom of joy with him. That's what David uh, Paul could say is that I know how to abase and I know how to I know how to abase, abase to be down, to be low. And I know how to abound. Abase is to be low, going to the valley of the shadows of death when things are not working well in your life. He says, I know how to abase and I know how to abound when everything is going on well with my life. I know how to be in abundance and I know how to, how to have nothing, to have lack. But in all things, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Um, Paul in the prison cell when he was in chains and in shackles and they had put him in a dungeon he could still write letters to the believers and say rejoice I say rejoice joy is not dependent on your, your, your circumstances Do joy is not dependent on what you are seeing or what you are hearing joy is coming from the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit. He gives you joy in the midst of your crisis. He gives you joy when you have even heard a bad news. You are all, all you are just smiling. You are just happy. You are just elated. You are just saying that it is well because I know my God, my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. When Job was going through the valleys of the shadow of death, he says that I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. He says that even if a tree be cut down, I know that it will sprout up again. Even if a tree be cut down, I know it will sprout again. So my enemies do not rejoice over me. So though even I fall today, I will rise again. It, it's only the joy of the Lord which can cause you to see past your present situation and say that it is well and I know God will come through for me. He says, I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives even though I've lost my, uh, my, my children, I've lost my estate, I've lost everything and my body is full of sore and my wife is telling me to curse God and die. I will not curse God because he who gave has taken away and blessed be his holy name. And because I am filled with the joy of the Lord, I know my Redeemer lives and he will visit me again. And so the Bible says that in the midst of his misery, he still had joy. He, still, he was still at peace with his, with, his, with his heavenly father. And the Bible says that God restored unto him whatever he lost. Do you have the joy of the Lord? It is the kingdom of joy in your life. That's why David says that cast me not away from thy presence, but restore, restore, restore unto me the joy of your salvation. May God's joy of his salvation be bestowed upon you even as you hear the sound of my voice. May you never be moved by what you are seeing, what you are hearing, or what you are going through. May the joy of the Lord be with you. May that joy, joy unspeakable, unspeakable full of glory, may it come upon you. May joy, may joy rest upon you. Now, joy is an emotional, an emotion of great delight. Joy is an emotion of great delight or happiness. I want you to know that there is a difference between happiness and joy. Happiness is dependent on situation. When you, you pass an exam, you are happy. Uh, when you, you get your paychecks, you are happy. When something good happens to you, you are happy. Happiness is always dependent on situations. When positive or good things or pleasant things happen to you, you are happy. So happiness is dependent. It is dependent. However, joy is independent or independent on situations. 
You may be sad, uh, you may have had the bad news, but joy is constant. You may be going through hard times, but joy is constant. You may be broke, but joy is constant. Your husband may be harassing you, but joy is constant. You may have lost your job, but joy is constant. You have had a bad report from the doctors, but joy is constant. Joy is not is not dependent on your surrounding it is not an emotional thing it is not a mind thing it is not you even planning it it is coming from the holy ghost the holy spirit giving you excitement giving you joy giving you bliss giving you happiness giving you excitement which is beyond human understanding full of glory do you have that kind of joy that even though Paul was in the prison cell, he, he could write, rejoice, I say rejoice. He was encouraging others even though he was in prison. He was in shackles. Do you have this kind of joy in your life which is always radiating in your life? That people can see, smile, and, and, and you are always happy. You are always positive. There is something glorious about your life because the joy of the Lord is bubbling inside of you. And it is reflecting. When you have joy, you can't hide joy. You can't you can have joy and it cannot be seen. We are people, I say, who are righteous but do not have joy. We are people who, who have the peace of God but do not have joy. Because when somebody is joyous, you, you, whenever you come close to them, you yourself, you begin to, it is contagious. You begin to realize that there is an energy, a positive energy radiating from them into your life. And before you leave them, if you were sad, you will be lifted up. If you were depressed, you will be lifted up. If you were anxious or you were um you are going through frustration you realize that they lift you up because joy is always always surrounding them because of the holy ghost joy 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 please today i want to talk to you about having the joy of god Ex expression of or a display of glad feeling which is coming from the holy ghost coming from the holy ghost it is not coming from mine it is coming from the holy ghost a feeling of joy a feeling of gladness to rejoice to rejoice always and today i pray that the holy spirit will give you that state of joy gladness and rejoicing always even in the name of jesus christ when you have joy happiness also is constant do you understand and that is the kingdom of god that is the kingdom of God. A deep feeling or a condition of happiness or contentment. Very deep. Beyond the physical happiness. The very deep feeling. Something causing you to just be delightful and to be rejoicing. And that something is the Holy Ghost. To make you gladden. To make you excited, to make you elated, to make you happy beyond measure. People will see you and they will see that you are always radiating with happiness, joy, rejoicing in your life. That is the kingdom of God. And the opposite is the kingdom of Satan. And the kingdom of Satan is misery, is unhappiness, is sorrow, is grief. It's mourning, it's frustration, it's complaining, it's harassing your life, it's making your life miserable. That is the kingdom of Satan. The kingdom of God is joy, and the kingdom of God, uh, the, the kingdom of Satan is depression, is misery, unhappiness, sorrow, grief, mourning, sadness, melancholy, depression, confusion in your life complaining, rage, angry with everybody. That is the kingdom of Satan, which the demons will always try to baptize or oppress people with those kind of spirits. But the kingdom of God is joy. Joy, unspeakable. And the kingdom of Satan is misery, unhappiness, sadness, sorrow, frustration. You are hopeless in your life, frustrated. Everything that you see, you see negative things. You can't say it is well because your life, you don't have the joy, the kingdom of God at work in your life. Jesus is the only one who can give you this joy. Jesus is the only one. Today, you see people who are, are Hollywood stars. 
and even though they have happiness today they because they go to the nightclub and they are chilling and womanizing and having fame and having affluence and influence and fortunes but they don't have joy they don't have joy so what is happening always you are going to hear them committing suicide you are going to hear, hear them on drug addiction and the drug killing them you always even today one guy who was you no know, who, who who brought about the soul train just committed suicide with all the fame and with all the money with all the legacies he left how why did he commit suicide why did this guy who brought about soul train and people who was making people enjoy why did he commit suicide lack of joy lack of joy if you don't have joy suicidal thought depression anxiety fear worry hopelessness even though you are making people happy you kill yourself michael jackson was never happy because even though he was making people happy and was entertaining people he himself was not having joy and so he couldn't sleep he had to pay his physician almost one fifty thousand dollars a month one fifty thousand dollars a month to keep him giving him medication for him to be able to sleep he was miserable he was unhappy he was sorrowful he couldn't he was depressed sleepless night so he had to take propofol to be able to sleep he was depressed he lacked joy he lacked joy because he didn't have jesus he lacked how can you pay a physician one fifty thousand dollars a month even people majority millions of americans do not even make half of that kind of money in a given year and a physician is getting it in a month just to give you medication to survive michael jackson and many of the hollywood stars they are frustrated they are miserable they are unhappy they cannot sleep if it might uh, um mike tyson mike tyson after all these um boxing fame and women and drugs and all these things one time when they interviewed him he says that there is still emptiness and void in his life they lack it so please and, and I, I i pity christians who aspire to be like the hollywood stars because they don't know what they, they, they are missing because many christians because they don't take god seriously they don't have the kingdom of joy so that's why they are envying this hollywood stars but i tell you the truth most of the uh, um hollywood stars are, are miserable they are miserable they are miserable that's why they can marry one week and the next week they divorce they are miserable that's why in spite of all their fame they are still on hooked with drugs they are still depressed they are still killing committing suicide and they are always their lives are miserable in closed doors behind the scenes just go to hollywood archives and see all the hall of fame how they ended their lives my majority majority of that their majority of them killed themselves majority of them were their lives they ended their lives in misery because the kingdom of satan was with them satan they sold their soul to satan and for a contract of maybe 20 years or 50 years or 10 years satan made them as, um, enjoy happiness and they were just enjoying fame fortune affluence and influence and popularity and stardom and then the devil visited them at the 12th hour and began to redraw and demons began to harass them frustrate them the kingdom of satan bringing depression bringing misery unhappiness sorrow grief upon them if you like jesus that is what you get from satan that is the kingdom of satan depression melancholy frustration anxiety fear worry lack of joy sadness misery you are never happy you are never content there is no happiness you are always angry you are always fighting blaming everybody in spite of your money in spite of your fame you, you are never happy you can never sleep you lack joy joy can only be given to you by jesus today hook up with jesus accept him as your lord and personal savior and he'll give you joy and for you christians listening to the sound of my voice it is about time you pray the kingdom of joy to come upon you and you realize that life is beautiful life is beautiful when the holy ghost is living in you he, you are always happy you are always happy it doesn't matter whether you go to the valley of the shadow of death joy uh, what every everything good bad or ugly it is going to end well with you so you are you are always at peace with yourself and you are always having joy you know how to abase abase you know how to abase and you know how to abate abound you know how to be in need 
you know how to be in want and you know how to enjoy abundance in all things you can do all things through christ today do do have the kingdom of uh, of joy in your life if you don't have it, may God give you this joy. May you pray that the Holy Spirit will give you joy. This excitement, this elation, this, 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 this pleasant feeling that comes by the Holy Spirit, full of glory. The joy, unspeakable. May God give you this joy. It always puts a smile on your face. It always makes the cells in your body always relaxing <laughs> some people they are they are always frowning always miserable always worried always because they lack the the, the, the kingdom of joy upon their lives just like so he couldn't sleep he was never happy because he lacked the presence of the kingdom of joy today a lot of christians are wallowing in the the valley of depression anxiety fear sadness mourning grieving misery frustration because they lack the oil of joy today i pray in the name of our lord jesus christ that the lord himself will deliver you from every demonic influence of misery unhappiness sadness sorrow grief melancholy depression frustration and may god release joy may god release joy the joy of the lord may it be your strength even in jesus name david says that cast me not away from thy present but restore unto me the joy of your salvation may the joy of of the salvation of our lord jesus christ rest upon you rejoice i say rejoice may you rejoice in the name of our lord jesus christ may the holy ghost begin to release joy unspeakable laughter <laughs> pleasant feeling oh peace oh my god may you may you have joy may you have joy you may be going through hard times may god give you joy may you may god give you joy may god give you joy even in the name of Jesus. Even in the name of Jesus. Gladness. Rejoice. May God give you joy. In every situation you are going through, may God give you joy. It could be a financial problem. May God give you joy. It could be a marital problem. May God give you joy. Every, every challenge you are experiencing, may God give you joy. And may that vacuum in your life be filled with the joy of the Lord because of our Lord Jesus Christ. You need Jesus to fill in. To fill in. To fill in and if you are a christian and you like this pray that father let your kingdom of righteousness peace and joy of the holy ghost come upon me and you begin to know that things will turn around in your life may god bless you the kingdom of god is righteousness peace joy in the holy ghost don't allow the kingdom of darkness to come upon you because you lack the holy ghost i pray that after this teaching god will baptize you with a fresh oil of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Even in Jesus' name, receive it. Amen. God bless you. Bye. Stay blessed.